Hi everyone, welcome to the Learn in Lab series of C programming. I am Varun and today we are going to have a look on the use of programmer defined functions which allows a large program to be broken down into a number of smaller self contained components each of which has some unique and identifiable purpose. Let's recall as we have already used these statements or more precisely if we say these functions which are used to carry out a number of commonly used operations in a C program. As the definition of printf and scanf function is available in stdio.h header file or you can say in stdio library and we also know main function is the necessity part of the structure of C program which is always going to define by the user for desired operation or result. This will enable us to classify the C functions into two categories namely library functions and user defined functions. The main distinction between these two categories is that library functions are not required to be written by us whereas a user defined functions has to be developed by the user at the time of writing a program. However, a user defined function can later become a part of C program library. So the ultimate aim is to understand the development of user defined functions in a C program. As of now we classify the functions, we use the functions but what exactly the functions is still not defined. So let's have a look on what are functions in a C program. Functions. C enables programmers to break up a large program into a segments commonly known as functions. Here for your better understanding you can also say this program has a list of statements in a main function which is then break up into the smaller segments that those things are known as the functions. So let's define a function in a well defined way. A function is a self contained program segment that carries out some specific well defined task. Now we are obviously having a question that how these functions are going to append it into the structure of C program. Before this while writing the functions in a C program let's understand the analogy related to it or we can say the necessity requirement for using the functions approach in a C program. The very first is the function declaration. In this the approach is very analogous to variable declaration and for your reference the syntax is also shown below. Let's have a look on syntax of function declaration. This is the syntax for function declaration in which initially you have to mention the return data type then space then you have to give the function name followed by the open and close parenthesis then semicolon at the end of the statement. All other things are very much familiar but what does this return data type means? Here you have to give the keyword for the data type of data expected to be returned from the function. This thing would be discussed in more elaboratively as and when it is required. So for a while here function name is a valid name for the function. Naming a function follows the same rules as naming the variables and try to give the function a meaningful name that must specify the task of that particular function as we have done in the variable declaration. Next is the function definition which consists of a function header that identifies the function followed by the body of the function containing the executable statements for that function. The syntax for function definition is as shown. Here you have to give the return data type then space then you have to give the function name then open and close parenthesis then you have to start it with the curly brackets then within the curly brackets you have to give the statements and then the curly brackets close. The content within the curly brackets is the function body and that the return data type space function name is the function header. Next is the function call. The function call statement invokes the function. When a function is invoked the compiler jumps to the called function to execute the statements that are the part of that function. Now let's have a look on the structure of C program with functions. Function declaration is being done before or after global declaration section then come on to the function definition which would be done after the closing curly bracket of main function 
as we have already discussed previously and also seen through implementation that execution of the program will always begin by carrying out the instructions in the main function. So that's why we make the function call in the main function. In advanced programming we also do calls in the user defined functions also so this will also discuss as and when required. But as of now you can think the function calling in main function only. So from both the structures we can say that each C program consists one or more functions but one of these functions must be called main function. Now we are done up with the discussion of functions without argument and now we will learn the implementation of same by performing a simple exercise. The exercise is write a program which would present this sort of tabular output with the aid of user inputs but using functions approach and a format specification argument for, for table uniformity. The hint is also given for you people. You can plan one function for user input and one for the table printing. So this you have to done. While performing this exercise, please make the variable declaration in global declaration section. Pause the video and give a try to solve this exercise. The solution of the exercise is shown. The things to get notice is that as the function is nothing to return, only prints the data. So we use the return data type as void in the declaration statements, in the function declaration you can say. Then look at the definition sequence. You can see the definition sequence does not matter. In any sequence you can write the function definition but the importance is function call sequence. I think this structure is very much clear to you people. This exercise is planned to make you people understand the structure of C program while using functions. Here you can also give a try by yourself that if the variable declaration that is this this sort of statement that if the variable declaration is done in the local declaration section then would the program be able to run? You can attempt it and then look at the results. This attempt will give you the understanding of difference between the global declaration and local declaration. The local declaration means that variable is only available or valid for that particular function whereas the global declaration will made the variable available for entire program functions and this is the console output we will getting from that particular program as the trend goes on the exercise is for you people in which you have to do this table printing using functions approach along with using format specifications different arguments for uniform undisturbed output table printing in any case. I hope you can do it. All the best. Thank you for watching. For more videos do subscribe my channel Mackie Insight.